Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I'd like to say to everyone a belated Happy Father's Day. Also, happy summer in the Northern Hemisphere and happy winter in the Southern Hemisphere. We just passed through the solstice. And I want to talk to you about uh, my recent webinar that I came up, but first, I want to let you know that uh, this time that we're in, it's pivotal. And a lot of you are uh, catching up to the time period where there was an actual separation. A lot of you had a real doozy of a time during the Mer Mercury retrograde and even once it went forward and everybody's stuff was coming up, um, you know, you may have been dealing with other people, perfect strangers, people in your family. It's going to continue because we are also going into energetic portals here that are here to enable true love. But enabling true love means that the energies and the entire universe are completely supportive of the true lovers, the real lovers, the people who have that eternal connection in your heart. Now, I know a lot of you have been struggling with things like, you know, uh, what is my twin thinking? What are they doing? Even people that are together are having struggles because there's just new parts of you. There, you have um, new chakras that are popping open. The part that we most recently passed through has to do with making uh, not just your, your cosmic footholds back to your planets of origins, the places that you feel that are homes to you. It has to do with bringing that all in and really bringing into alignment your, your cosmic level stuff right into the physical body. So in some ways you could say that while it's happening on Earth, you're not dealing with Earth stuff right now. You will not find Earth logic helpful. You won't find other things helpful. Uh, what actually is helpful is going to be an inward focus. This is becoming body work of an inside job. That's what this is becoming in order for you to really be good together. And that's what my webinar is intended to help you with. All of my webinars have built, but really the one from October, for those of you who got the October one, review it again. If you're just newly coming into this awareness or finding out what does this mean, you know, I knew something years ago, I could feel stuff, I met a person. For a lot of you, this is circling around again. I'm talking to people where their dynamics are such that uh, there are many older, younger uh, twin flame couples. There are people who are transitioning out of uh, a lot of other relationships. Could be a marriage, could be a lifestyle. There are people that are gay and lesbian twin flames that are really understanding, and transgender, that you're understanding wait a minute, this is twin flame, this isn't just something. This is, th that's what I am, that's what I'm wired up and why. You're still going to have some of the same issues. Um, some of you are coming up to a dynamic here, and this is very prevalent. This is actually closing the door on what started last July, where it was all of a sudden time to finish, conclude the karma, Stop relating to old things. Stop relating to each other in old ways. And for a lot of you, that is finding uh, some of it feels very rude. It will feel like, wait a minute, my twin blocked me. My twin is uh, deactivated. Uh, my twin won't respond. And there is a reason. I cover that in my webinar. The reason is getting really good at heart communication. I started noticing it uh, close to a year ago, but it's been happening gradually. And for people that really are going to be together, it's incumbent on you to learn how to do this. I've said it many times before in my videos, and uh, I'm one of the teachers. I'm one of the people that does have a way to do it. It would be very foolish of me 
to come out and just tell you stuff and not give you a way to do it. How many people are giving you information? You know, there's a lot of information, but where is the how-to? And a lot of you are busy. Um, more and more people actually will uh, be awakening or coming into their awareness where doing this stuff is not your primary job. You're expected to live, eat, and breathe your twin flame, except you're out in the world. You're working. You might be a police officer. You might be a chef. You might be someone who's on the front line of a, a phone center, your receptionist. Um, you might be a mechanic all walks of life and for many of you who are looking at this I want to make you aware anything you do that's beneficial for you it reflects over to your twin flame that's another fallacy your twin flame gets it from the inside they're getting it from the higher awareness so if you're focusing on healing other people be aware that at some point it may become a shocking drain at some point, it may feel as though, huh, I somehow, my twin is way on the outside. Why? Because you let the rest of the world get in and you squished up into your head and now you start wondering. And it's not no longer possible to say, well, uh, your twin flame drinks because you cry. That's not valid. That's not valid anymore. Or um, your twin flame sleeps with other people because you're weak. That's not true. That's not valid. That is not the reason. The reason has to do with what I cover in my webinar. So let me just go through what I do cover. And I hope that people get it. It's anticipated to help you. It was put together. It's actually the culmination of quite a bit of higher information. Things that I do glean through people's readings where I can make it concise. And I can, uh, for those of you who... Uh, have had a reading with me I thank you very much if you've had a reading if you've had a session years ago I did body work on people and that part's no longer necessary but for those of you who are in parts of the world where you know how do you access some of this this is accessible 24 7 you can get it you could do it in the privacy of your own bedroom I don't want to know about that, but you can. So the thing is that I cover here, I'm going to start off by letting you know, talking about cosmic origins, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, you left parts of you. You had strings of connection. And this is the time that you're pulling it all in. It's all streaming in and up, and it's more than Kundalini. So... I want to let you know your dormant connections that have been tucked inside your body that many of you prepared for in this life. Okay, you, you prepared for this. Your dormant connections are alive. They're going to continue sparking up. And some of it might be uncomfortable. Some of it might be where, you know, you just don't know what's going on. There's another thing to know. The ego and the damaged psyche as it once existed is connected to the mental muscle emotional body spirit body replaces that I talk about that in there and how to connect it how to deepen and bring it in and strengthen that connection because if you think that you know things are logically explained from an earthly standpoint you're gonna find that that does not work out there so where you're going to is you're not you're, you can't explain with logic the unsensible thi or insane things that keep happening here. It's okay to categorize it, but your soul's too big to pigeonhole you or put you in a category. It just is. Um, and a lot of you are finding this out. You're finding it out through the tears and through um, the uncomfortable feelings, the feelings of I just don't belong here. Many people, I actually talked to someone who had investigated how to get out of here, do it with the least trouble, the least trouble to anyone, not painful, it would only cost X amount of money. Except this is a soul thing. You're, you're, really, you're, you're ready to turn the corner here. And this is good news because a lot of what you were leading up to for this year, there's going to be waves and waves of people. If you have someone that's talking you out of your own destiny, if you have someone who is simply 
tuning into a weird mental body, I'm here to tell you, many of you, especially if you're a Blu-ray, you are shearing away from the old mental collective, the mental emotional body of the collective. And it's not easy. And it's saddening. None of us like to leave people. We all miss each other. But who do you miss most? You miss your twin flame. That's what we're here to talk about. So the focus is on twin flame. Please know, a lot of this information is very important for Blu-ray people. Some of you may or may not know who you are, but if you've had some really extreme experiences, chances are you're a Blu-ray. Okay, that's not the exclusive domain of Blu-rays, and being a Blu-ray doesn't mean always weird, extreme stuff. Okay, so some of the other things that I talk about, I talk about the sweetness in your union. How do you bring the sweetness into your life, into your body? How do you reconnect it? Uh, this has to do with your blood and your sugar. I talk about the spleen, the pancreas, your lymph system, bone marrow, because a lot of you are feeling pains right down to your bones respiration in the lungs. I talk about, well, I titled this one, There's a Fungus Among Us. Yes, a lot of you are feeling inflammations, infections, or you have a chronic condition. It could be Lyme disease. It could be, uh, it could be things like um, chronic inflammatory disease. It could be irritable bowel. There's a lot of chronic conditions that people live with, and it doesn't really impair your daily functionality. Now, a lot of you who saw my last uh, video, I talked about healing my eye, which is still healing. Thank you for all the well wishes. But I want to make a point here. The point was, for years I'd been told, you know, well, it's this or that. Turns out it was something that I could heal, except the technology's here now. So it's in the same vein we are now at the point where you're going to be able to bring yourself up to a level of daily maintenance, a better quality of living, and your well-being so that you and your twin can come into each other and entwine with each other. That is, the, that's, that is it. You want to be where those promises are, where all of the films and the music and the things that have told you how wonderful and passionate this love can be. And a lot of you are sitting in a space where you're just like, yeah, this doesn't feel like love, Patricia. It just it doesn't. I don't get it. It's rude. It's painful. I agree with you. How do you get there? Some, some of what I present in October and here is how do you get there? And it's through breath work, it's through um, opening your channels, it's through releasing things, an easy way to release things. It's making it a part of your daily stuff. And a lot of you are busy. I have stuff that it would take you five minutes out of your day to do. So the next thing that I talk about in here, portals and cycles, how we're going through these and what they're doing for us. One of the really big things on people's list and one of the hugest disparities between twin flame couples, finances. What about your finances? Why do some of you have a twin flame that appears to have everything earthly that they need? Vehicles, house, maybe more than one house, money in the bank, a good job, etc., etc. Some of you are becoming angry with this, and I will say this. The past two weeks have been to release the bitterness of your anger and resentments. Continue getting it out. Do not allow this to come between you and your twin flame. Abundance is here and it's intended for everyone. But yeah, find out about it. Your finances, your abundance, your new connections to your higher self, your timelines, and etheric funds. Etheric funds. How do you get the things that you really need or want green-lighted? This is, this is going to be the basics of starting up the how-to. And the, uh, lastly, what I talk in there is about basic maintenance at any level of physical living and what's required with that. Now, I want you to know that this was um, put together by me um, through my union and a lot of it was the result of taking weeks of notes and gleaning and editing, condensing it so that 
it's able to help people in a really concise way. Because we got to cut to the chase here. We got to get get going with this. A lot of you, some of you tried to tender a letter of resignation to me, and that is not my job. I'm not here to accept letters of resignation. So I will say this. Thank you very much to everyone who has bought my webinar and given me feedback that it's helped you. I do appreciate it. Um, down the line, there is going to be more to come. This webinar is the very last in the series of about these subtle bodies, and it's very specific information. It will, it's intended to give you clarity and answers and how-tos on things. So I dropped this, but I have something that I was inspired to write, and this is both my wish and prayer, but this is also coming from several of the ascended uh, Blu-ray twin flames who are not in bodies, who are helping, and they shall go nameless at this time because we're all letting go of our guides in the old way, and you're coming into oneness with your twin flame, with your own true higher self. Be willing to let go. Be willing to take that leap of faith because your soul and your love is the power of the universe. What's the strongest thing on earth? No, it's not diamonds. No, it's not iron. It's love. It's love. I got that one from my son. So I'm just going to um, say my, my wish, and it's somewhat a wish and a prayer. And I got to say this again. I've said it before. During my readings, I can feel how magnificent some of you are. I feel the twin flame love. That's how I read it. When it's there, it's there. There's no obscuring it. It could be under layers of stuff. I still feel it. When it's a false twin, I feel like something stabs me in the rib cage. It's so night and day. It's so clear. But the thing is, is many of you, you're not giving yourself credit for who you really are. And this is, this is um, going to be very important because... We're going to be in a, new, a Neptune retrograde until November. This is where the discernment of fantasy and reality and the magic of knowing that what you are expecting, what your visions, your dreams, your night work, is, and all of the body work you're doing is telling you that's going to come true. And we'll talk about that down the line. But my wish for you, here it is. We, the Blu-rays, expect you to feel yourselves as authentic, grand, and glorious beings and not simply human. That all the wishes of your heart come true. That your true love, is who is simply here and exists, will come to you. And for some of you, that will be sooner rather than later. That true wealth lies in the ability to give and receive and that in receiving, you take care of the gift that is being offered right here. It is a gift that was created by us, for us, and that is the opportunity here. It is new. Many of you have forgotten in this density and for many life cycles exactly while, you know, why are you here and while you're living here, you have been here to divest yourself of all of your karmic blueprints, all of your patterns of behavior, and your habits. We wish that so many of you who have diligently done as much as humanly possible come to feel that your real purpose in being here is to become good at participation, increasing yourself in every way possible, growth, not letting accidents get you down. Not allowing the rest of the world to get you down. And not allowing others to constrict you. And not allowing the love to elude you. Because the love is here. Seeking and finding is a non-earthly process. And there's a lot of love here offered. Use it. And take hold of your eternal union. It's time. So thank you so much. I hope that you buy my webinar. It's still very reasonably priced. 
It's available at the link down below. It's available on my website, which is www.twinflamesmerge.com. I, yes, to answer people's questions, I do uh, personal one-on-one -on -one readings and sessions or for couples. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.